Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. And uh, one of the things I see a lot of people um, talking about is 10 meter band. And the um, knowledge about 10 meter band is often not very good uh, for a lot of people, including hams. I've seen a lot of amateur operators saying, well, you know, the solar flux isn't high enough. Uh, that's why conditions are bad. This solar cycle sucks. No, this is a solar cycle like every other solar cycle. It's actually um, stronger than the last one. And the 10 meter band has a very specific, there's very specific features of the 10 meter band that a lot of people uh, don't know about or are kind of ignorant. So... We're in August, and we just passed July. It's summer in the Northern Hemisphere, and a lot of people in the Northern Hemisphere will just go with, why is the 10-meter band so bad? The 10-meter band is always rather bad in the summertime. It's always been a rule. The reason for that rule is that the ionization of the sun that is much higher in the sky is so strong that the ionosphere absorbs most of the signals rather than propagate them and bounce it off. And this is a phenomena of the summer propagation, the sun being very high, and of course the uh, solar radiation is much stronger uh, when that happens. This is why you might have noticed, or maybe not, and now you're learning about it, that as we'll go into September, October, you'll see that gradually the 10 meter band will actually come alive. And of course, winter time is the best time for the 10 meter band for uh, good long distance propagation. So of course, it depends on the, um, you know, where you are on the hemisphere that you are. So if you're in the Southern hemisphere where it is winter, 10 meter band contacts are great down there at this time and of course they're bad up here and january they'll be good here they'll be bad in the southern hemisphere and of course there's the um equinox which are the times like in september october the times in march february march which also kind of is good for both this is the main time where you'll see that long distance Communications like, for example, from the uh, northern North America to Australia are the easiest on the 10 meter band. And the winter time, you'll have a lot of contacts with stations like in Europe to North America, things like that. Um, I love the 10 meter band in the winter time. It is always a fun time to to use it. But yep, 10 meter band tends to be crappy in the summer. It's always been like that. Uh, and, you know, you've got limited signals, uh, mostly coming from the south. So, for example, you might look at the 10-meter band FT8 to see what stations come in. You'll notice that maybe a lot of stations from South America. Uh, the reason is because in South America, uh, if you're below the equator, you're in winter. You're in that time period where the 10-meter band is actually better. So... This is something that a lot of people don't know, uh, and it is part of the education of knowing about the propagation of different bands. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.